Okay, so welcome back guys. Welcome back to part 3 of uh, simple hip and volley roof design. It's it's amazing. So we're back. So what we did is we covered part 1 and part 2 where we did two videos or I did two videos with you guys. So in video 1 we covered step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4 and I did a recap of all those steps in the previous video and in the previous video we did step 5, step 6, step 7, step 8 and what I called step A, B where we just to recap where we step 5 we established the main box I told you about the main box and the secondary box even drew the two boxes for you and then in step 6 I established the main support systems where we just say we want to focus on the main ridge support that first and then we take it from there and uh, we came up with the main trust getters for this one and then we went to step 7 which I called closing the box where we placed the truncated hip getter which is shown here in red and also the truncated trusses which is shown in double lines but inside and then after that we went to step 8 which I call closing the box where we just place in the jacks as you can see these are the jacks these are the jacks and um, I talked about the flying part and the non-flying part if you still remember this right here is the flying part we're talking about Jack Sparrow baby yo amazing movies and then this is the non-flying part so yes we did that we placed that was step 8 where we placed these ones and I told you if uh, once your jacks reach the hip then uh, they cut off the and as long as it's before the hip gither then you make sure that you draw two other lines as well which add 90 degrees to your jacks and these are the other complementary jacks for the roof so if it was a simple hip proof what we're just going to do in the, by simple hip proof what i meant is we were just having a box we're just going to mirror the jacks that cover this part this part of the box then just mirror them this side and then we're done but then this one is not a simple hip proof it actually has a valley this part valley where you put a valley gutter so uh, that becomes a little bit more complicated but then that's what we're going to be dealing with in this part of the video so i told you what you do with this one is you do close the box on the other side of the main box as i told you the main box so the main box but what you do is you make sure that wherever the valley wherever your jacks extend or uh, like way past way way over the valley you just make sure that you trim them you trim them off at the valley and yeah so yeah that's pretty much it that is the recap of for the previous video now we jump on to step nine so yo let's get it started guys and uh, ladies so let's go so first thing you want to do is uh whoa you really don't want to do this you don't want to copy anything because it's I'm the one who's copying this so that you know what I'm doing but you don't really need to copy anything so this is step 9 step 9 okay so what you're doing is now you're doing with a secondary box secondary box okay so you're now closing um, now closing the secondary box which is dealing with the main support system so with the secondary box unlike with the main box we don't start off with the bridge we're gonna start off with placing the jacks so the first thing that you do with this secondary box is you wanna come to the external like the external part the wall let's just do the internal part of the wall and then you just wanna try and put the hip for that so it's 1500 then you've set it in but then the main purpose of doing this now is because when we establish the main box we already put a beam gitter as well so now it's up to you as the technical guy what you're doing is just you're eyeballing these two things they seem too close to me so there's really no need for this one so we're just gonna select that and then we delete it okay so next thing that we want to do is we want to come and place our jacks now so first thing that we do we're placing the flying pot there we go we place mr jack sparrow and then the non-flying pot curse of the black pearl if you haven't watched those movies dude you definitely do need to watch pirates of the caribbean some mild movies i'm telling you man although i'm not into that anymore 
but uh, they were amazing. I remember watching the fifth one. That was a really, that was a really bad one. I think, but that's just my opinion. Uh, that's just my opinion. Watched it with one of my exes. Uh, we didn't like it, man. It was, that was back in 2017. Ah, totally sucked. Anyways, so now that you play the old jacks. Next thing that you want to do is you just get that 750. Okay, 750, 750, 750, 750. Okay, you don't need anything else there because it's going to be hanging in the air. And we definitely don't want to hang loose. Okay, that's not a term for what you think it is. Next thing you want to do, you want to trim these ones because they just hit the, uh, the hip. Please, please forgive me for that. It's the hip. Okay. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to mirror these three guys. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two. Okay. You got them mirrored up. And in this case, you only need. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this because you don't really need that. And then what you want to do is you want to place your truss hanger. So I represent it with a circle. Okay. Let me just. Sorry about that. It's too big. Too big. Too. I think that's perfect. So M A and just match the properties so we're just gonna have one truss angle for this side and we're good but then like i told you if it's before the kid though what you do is you want to 90 degree those lines 90 degree that 90 degree that and then you just want to 90 degree that okay and then you m a and then just match the properties it's cyan it's cyan cyan is a very beautiful color and you know you don't really have to repeat this you all you got to do is just mirror this even just put that and you're good but funny enough look what we happened so whenever you're trying to cross over from a ridge or valley or anything just make sure you remove that so this one in particular what you want to do is you want to come to this point uh select object what you can do is just select this first then you want to trim it off then you trim it off like that so first things first closing the secondary box um dealing with jacks so what we did was we we're dealing with the jacks with the jack sparrows yeah okay so now we move on to step 10 you don't have you you will be doing this on a single drawing but i'm just trying to make this clear to you so that list you can follow through on your own as well so step 10 Closing the secondary box, dealing with the reach, with the reach, dealing with the reach. So what you want to do now, with dealing with the ridge, this is the ridge. So this is not known to you guys, but what actually happens on the roof, this hip line, on the ground, you actually put a timber truss or timber member that goes from all the point from this maybe all the way to the wall plate. So let me just represent that one. But what you do now to represent that with a 45, 45, there you go. But then the representation is uh, this one. Yes, because it's, uh, what do you want to call it? What you want to call it? Uh, so yeah, please, please note, wherever you have roof lines, those represent timber members that are actually going along those lines, along those lines. So with this ridge, what you have with the ridge, I think I showed you in the very first video so the ridge is a timber member that's going like parallel to this like the long side of the walls and then that is the member that is then supported by these trusses so same thing you have a timber member that's running all the way from this but this side then you you don't see it when you're outside but because uh, you don't really see this line from this edge you don't really see it's actually there's no edge it's all just flat out from this but then there's a member that's actually beneath this so what you want to do now so whenever it's a secondary box and you're dealing with the ridge for a secondary box one thing you need to remember is that uh, all the trusses that support the secondary ridge will be flying they will be flying okay and the reason why we usually say they're flying is because they're not on the wall plate well, they're not supported on a wall plate they support it either on a valley on a rafter and or on a gid so with this one the first thing what i usually do is i come to this edge as well edges of maximum stress it's usually the point where the ridge intersects with the hips so you come with that just make sure that's have fate so what we want to do is we want to cancel it off or 
uh, what do we call it? Dude, I'm looking for the English word. <laughs> I'm totally boiling it out. Anyways, you wanna just trim it off at the valley, but this will do for now. You can just extend that, and then what you do is you come off, select your hip, and then you trim it off. Good. And then what you wanna do is you just mirror that. Or oh, what you can do is you just extend it from this side, and then. Dude, I'm sorry, somebody's answering the phone, but yo, it's totally cool. So then you come off, and then you just trim off that side. That's definitely cool. So, like I said, these are going to be flying, so it's definitely going to be flying, even though it's taking like maximum stress. Then the next thing that you want to do is you just want to 750 this down, um, then pam. And then once you 750 those, so this ridge is going to be supported by three trusses, which are going to be flying. Then you just want to trim them off, trim them off, trim them off, and uh, there you go, there you go. Oh, and the other thing, when we married this, we didn't copy everything. All of this, remember this. I'm very sorry about that, guys. Very sorry about that. This was supposed to be mirrored when we mirrored um, the other part of the roof. So I'm just gonna do that. Then you mirror this. So this is what was supposed to happen. They were supposed to come out mirrored like this and but this one you only just remember you only trim off the jacks you don't trim off the main support system trusses when they come to the valley you only trim off the jacks so ladies and gentlemen um this is so sudden and unexpected you can think of this as uh, two people enjoying uh okay i'm not gonna say this i'm 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 not gonna say i indulge in it but this is like coitus we just came to a flipping and like too quickly it's like a rabbit you get the point uh so guys this is amazing we just we just finished the roof guys look at this this is the same so this is part uh three so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna end the video right here, and then we continue in part four where we name the trusses and then i give you an extensive overview of uh what we've been doing but you guys you're the best thank you if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button if you want my other videos please go to the link above it's 12 minutes very short video but hope you liked it so in the next video i'm just gonna brush over what we did in step eight nine and ten and then um I'm gonna give you, I'm, we're gonna name the trust. It's, it's, I think it's gonna be another 10 to 12 minute video, and then we just finish it off. But thank you very much, and uh, peace out, guys. You're amazing. Love you very much, especially Rachel. Love you, babe.